Hi guys, I'm back with another video and it is kind of a DIY and just making any maxi dress workout for you this summer. So I found a bunch of really cheap maxi dresses at Forever 21 that were $12 each and they were very plain and it didn't look like anything that I would wear but I actually remade them into something different and added little details to them that would make them work for my own fashion style. Let's get started with the first dress that I bought and I actually bought two of these because I wanted to show you guys a look without any modification to the actual dress and then a look with some modification. So what I did was actually just cut a higher slit for the dress so that it looks more appealing just for my height and that was basically it. I just added a belt to cinch the waist because the dress was so flowy and loose on my body that I wanted to add some shape into it. Um, I decided to pick a metallic shiny belt because it just stands out and it just makes an awesome statement piece and I match it with these awesome gold plated shoes. If you think about it, it's really crazy that a belt and a nice pair of shoes can make the biggest difference in the world, but it actually does. So when you buy something that's a cheap find, it's always good to just make it work with accessories or anything small details. Um, another tip that I want to give you guys is that if it is a short sleeve shirt and the short sleeves are kind of on the longer side, what you can do is actually cuff the sleeves up and that gives the dress a slightly different look also. All right, so now that the easy part is over, let's start some DIYing. I am just gonna remove the sleeves from this dress to make it a sleeveless dress. And also, because the dress itself is kind of loose on my body, I am going to cinch the sides a little bit by just sewing the sides. So you're gonna flip the dress inside out and start sewing. Now, the tricky part is that you have to know how much you need to sew on each side. So I would definitely recommend wearing the dress and then pinning the sides so that you know how much you have to sew inward. And remember, if you're not a good sewer, it's not the end of the world because you can always just cut it off and re-sew it. Um, I myself am not that great of a sewer, so my lines are kind of mediocre, but they will work. After I finished sewing, I decided to try on the dress and see if there are any other alterations that I need to make to the sewing. So I decided to just sew inward a little more at the waistline so that it hugs my waist and fits me more snug in that area. So that's what I did. Now for the back, I wanted to do a V back instead of a U back because I have countless amounts of dresses with just the U back, so I wanted to try something different this time. And then lastly, I just added a slit on both sides of the dress because there was only one that it came with, and then I made the slits a little bit higher than they were. Lastly, I just wanted to show you guys a fun technique that I used to just make the dress just more of my own style and more fun. I actually saw the same dress at Urban for $50 or more and I just thought that there was no need for that because you can just do it yourself. 
What you're going to do is simply take the back of the dress and just fold that part in half and then taking your scissors you're going to start with a wide slit and then just decrease in length after that and that is basically it. We have come to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new from my maxi fashion tips. And that is all. If you guys try any of my DIY videos or makeup videos or any kind of videos, please hashtag Ahan Barbie and share it with me on either Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I love you all and see you all next time.